Hey guys and gals, well, Marilyn, my Brecky Palma uh, Bomi Mexican uh, fire leg, finally molted. And let's just make a long story short. Uh, I just spent probably five hours doing a time lapse video, and I accidentally deleted all my videos, all my intros, everything off my phone. Um, it was telling me uh, storage was full, and I just went and clicked a few things, and it was actually while she was flipping over, I was doing that, and by mistake, I ended up uh, deleting everything off my phone, which really sucks, because all my intros and everything were on there, and other videos, uh, you know, for my feed, tarantula feeding videos that I was going to do, uh, like tarantula takedowns and whatnot. But anyways, enough of that. Um, I'm going to give you guys a look at her. She just flipped over maybe an hour ago. Um, got the molt out. As you just seen, that's the molt there. There's a size comparison to my hand. Um, this is the third time she's molted in my care. Uh, molt went well, uh, but I was very, very disappointed. I, I deleted everything off my phone, like I just said. And I think it's just because when we record, especially these time-lapse videos, uh, you know, you run, it takes up so much space. You run out of space on your phone or your, whatever you're recording on your camera. And it's just always at that last minute, uh, well, last couple of seconds even, the tarantula is going to flip. And it flips over always when you're doing something. Now, I've got them flipping over before, but what I like to do is I like to uh, do the time-lapse. And then when I'm thinking it's about time, it's usually about an hour after they... They uh, get the ex kick the exoskeleton off, they lay there, they twitch, they do this, they do that. And generally about an hour later, they flip. So I try time it, and then I start recording in regular motion so I can get closer and uh, get her flipping, him or her, well this is a female, but depending on the tarantula, uh, you get them flipping over on like regular time. But anyway, so that's how I messed it up, and I, I messed up really bad. Not only did I not get the video, I deleted everything else off but anyways guys that's enough on her uh, also uh, Sarge my Theraphosa uh, Sturmy Burgundy Goliath he molted and my Theraphosa uh, Apophysis Pinkfoot Goliath molted probably about three days ago and uh, they both molted within hours of each other because I just had come down here and I was checking on things and they were I seen the, the molt just laying there and they were both still very moist meaning the molts I'm going to get them down and give you guys a look at them. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, there's a look at Sarge. He is looking absolutely stunning. Uh, this is uh, Theraphosa Sturmy, Burgundy Goliath. I wish he was a little more spread out for his, but his carapace is absolutely huge now. Uh, his molt went very well, and I just love, you know, their abdomen looks like, I mean, you can see the hairs there, but it looks like silk or satin or velvet, something like that. But he's looking good, so good. And over here is my Theraphos apophysis, Pinkfoot Goliath. Now, I'm not sure what is going on with her abdomen. It looks very, uh, like, like, you can see there, it looks really pale or white or tanned. Looks like it's uh, dark on the, on the right, and then it goes light, and then it goes dark again. Now, it could be the lighting. As, see, as you change it, it, it kind of changes. But uh, I checked her molt, which is actually right here. This is her molt. That's her molt there. I mean, there's her abdomen. Everything is all mashed up, but everything's there. Um, and this is Sarge's Theraphosa. Sturmy, Burgundy Goliath. Now check this out, guys. This is Sarge. Sorry about the camera. Check this out. Oh, where is it? That little molt right there. That's how big he was when I got him. That's his first molt. Look at the size. That's probably about, I don't know, seven months ago. I check, I check that out. Sorry if the picture's not that good. I'm holding this way up high. But... Look at the size difference. Like, there's my finger. There it is. And now, I mean, there he is there. But he's even bigger there. I'm saying he's pushing, well, probably seven, eight inches. Easy eight, easy seven and a half inches. Now, he's not all stretched out, but they're both looking really cool. 
And there's a good look at the difference. Uh, I, the pink foot Goliath or the Apophysis. Very pinky looking, very hairy. And Sarge is like that. I guess that's a, well, it looks like a brown, but that's what I call it, the burgundy because it has a tinge, a tinge of burgundy in it. But anyways, guys, that's a look at them. And I'm uh, just going to show you guys quickly. I'm not going to do a tarantulas. That's my uh, granite back reticulated python. She also shed her skin. That's it all along there. She shed, shed her skin probably, actually it was yesterday. It was all the way down here. That's a three foot tank and that's all mashed up. And I think part of her tail didn't come right off. Sorry about the camera work guys. I don't know where I put it. It's up here somewhere, but there's another. Oh, there it is there. That broke off. So there's there's a part of her tail. But, you know, if she had a really good shed, and what I've been reading or hearing about retics, that sometimes I have problems shedding. Uh, I find the key with any snake. Um, I mean, these guys like to be a, a little bit higher humidity anyways. So, yeah, that's why I have the moss there. I'll spray that down. I let it dry out. I have some water in there. Um, I don't fill it up. I just put a little bit on the bottom because if she tries to get in there, it just overflows. But the trick, any snake guys, is just when they they're going into shed, uh, that whole week that you know usually they start uh, going opaque, and then you'll see it. They'll dull up. They get really milky looking, and then they come out of it, and they almost clear right up. And then within a day or two, they'll shed. I over the years, uh, I just find I just spray the heck out of them. Um, that week and I've never really had a problem with uh, anything shedding you know bad sheds anyways but you know I mean she's not big she's probably five five and a half feet but even a big snake if it ends up uh, you know having a bad shed that's a lot of work getting it off so just spray the heck out of them the week that they're opaque so anyways guys uh, sorry I've been really busy I haven't been able to upload any videos and I was I wanted to do like uh, tarantula takedowns because my last two feeding videos um, were still on my phone and I, and I usually edit the clips out and do it. But as of now, I can't do it obviously because I deleted everything off my phone. I even had to do new intros and outros, and I have no video, so they're just pictures. So sorry for that. Anyways, guys, I just thought I'd do a quick little video on uh, a few molts that I had in the past couple of days. Beautiful, all three beautiful tarantulas: Brachy Palma Bomi, Theraphosa. Apophysis, and there's my buddy Sarge. I just love this guy. I mean, I love them all, but I just, I just love the coloration on him. He just looks so, so sleek, so sleek. But yeah, there he is. Anyways, guys, short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm sorry I, I messed up the time lapse. That's what I was working on tonight. Uh, unfortunately, this is uh, still a good video, but I mean, five minutes to record this, and it took me five hours to do the other thing that didn't work out. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling. You guys have a good day and a good night wherever you're at. Take care. Bye-bye.